was gone. <laughs> now wow. So you heard the gunshots, you saw the armed men. See the people that even recorded the video, she has a the shake. You gonna say the state they in hot fire. So that's emo state Nigeria. So you just see what they happen. See what is funny. You people don't have money. You people don't have money to put into the economy to grow the economy that have damaged the people that is making the people complain but you have money to do damage control you have money to pack armed men and put on the streets you have money to give to kings and queens you have money to give to to to, to cultural people to give to women to come and tell people don't protest you have money to go to a lava market you have money to go to different places and give it to the people you need to you have money for damage control but you don't have money to put into the economy and grow the country it's crazy do you understand when i beat people when i won't teach them how to cry see how you are treating people like animals because now they animals they treat like this. You carry stick. Now they now they goats they go carry stick or sheep. The shepherd go and come on go inside or go inside. In most states now God go deal with you now. You understand to the youth in most states just be careful. They not ready with that. Mona just be very very careful. And to the governor of most state these are your people. Mind you, mind you. If to say you create good road, create jobs. Do you understand? Create available schools, hospitality, everything. You know, school only go strike your state, they do well. Nobody, as the whole country, you talk about protests, nobody said we even talk about it. Your state people go now, then go defend you. Do you understand? And what is even funny is that I met his son one day. I met his son, very lovely boy. I'm telling you, like the man's son is very lovely, cool boy. That is to say, this man, you get children, you get a, 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 a boy where it be like us, where we distill the suffer. So you are a father to us. Listen to us as a father. No be by gara gara. Listen to us as a father. Your children, we your children. We Nigerian children, we are suffering. We are going through a lot. See the price of rice. See the price of beans. See the price of transportation. See the price of gari. Gari before now our heritage. What would it take? We will go buy one cup, 10 naira. See the price of gari. You know, if you afford them, see house rent. See minimum wage. We are not even talking about insecurity. People that they kidnap day in, day out. Even the military were who gone now. Their salary said they know if you brag about them. Teachers cannot talk. People are leaving Nigeria on a, on a daily basis. People are selling properties here. Yeah. Person they live good life, but you see the fear. They selling properties the wrong. And you don't want people to talk. Come on. Anyways, my brother said now, brothers and sisters in most states, you people should be careful. Please be very, very careful. And also to the people where they are Abuja, where they plan to come protest tomorrow, please, I want to beg you, if you know say you won't come cause problems, stay for your house. Because I swear to God who made me, if I just see you break bottle, just do one kind of nonsense, I go first sand you slap. And you go even carry you, give the police, may they pick you, they go. Do you understand? It is a peaceful match and it's a peaceful protest. If you want to cause problem, you go enter problem. Uh -huh. And mind you, the time, if you want to protest, no matter the time, the time to go to your house is 4 p.m. Anything 3 o'clock, 3.30, you are not supposed to go in the house. We don't want problem in Nigeria. We want to see. Nigeria get problem, yes, but we don't want to burn it down. Thank you very much. Peace and love. Um, I just come off of work. As in, I just snitch out. Make I just come here. You understand? Make I just do this video post. I can't go again. Alpha, celebrity, where are you? Celebrity, where are you? Why 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 top you? Why are 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 you? What is up? What is this up? And then Nigeria has me a blame. Then Nigeria has me a blame. No, but now they promote them. Whiskey go drop some today. When I don't go, go here. When I de, when I de fight for whiskey, but whiskey no be fight. You know, he no be fight for Nigeria. He no be fight for the people. He no be fight for the fans. When I de fight for whiskey, make money, enter your account. But he no be fight for now. Where they hungry? What is this up?
Nobody will beg their money. Say money, I can't give us money. No. Because if you first say you won't give money, how many people will go to give good money? How many people? If you give the whole Nigeria's money. No, you know to do it. You know to give the whole Nigeria's money. But the only help where you go feel help the whole Nigeria be say, Mona, come up. Mona, come up. Come shut up for support. Come shut up for, for this thing. All of us choose in our platform, in our mouth. Fake this government. May they do it. People are hungry. People they die. May they dissolve. All these celebrities are the best for life. I don't just remove big brother Nigeria. I'm going to kill all of them. Only the people like you do. All these big brother Nigeria. I'm going to kill everybody. One of our way get money. We will not show concern about this thing. I'm going to kill off now. I bet you that way. People they suffer. People they hungry. I'm going to do like say. Like say we're not pastors. When did they stop? I don't know which I want to enjoy the verse like this because this is the verse I don't feel called this man called the reason I say. I don't see any single celebrity. People when are they they support them, I know they support them. All this is this I've carried my code, I know they support them. They, they pay me. Back that man dead there up to now. This is the this is the I see no nobody nobody they feel very that man. We know they feel them. But you see they feel for Nigerians. Maybe say very dark man a musician. No, you don't get any music where in the door. Maybe say you can't do. Maybe say now go steam. Now go steamer. No, but people maybe say that they sing. Now now all that and they taste steamer. When they buy ticket, they go their show. When they put money for their own pocket. When they fight for them to get money, but now they don't feel fight for. When they are hungry now, where did they stop? Where did they stop? When I wake up, it's time for Nigeria to wake up. When I wake up. When I wake up, all these celebrities, whether they wanna, wanna leave them for now. All these comments, they are content creator. They just care about themselves. They just they post video. They do. No one of them want to talk about this. Where they stop? They invest me. They invest me. What lie? Ah, when I know the reason, say maybe this protest, maybe now Ibo organize them or now Labour Party or because now which all these our leaders the team maybe now Ibo go organize this. Nobody organize them. Okay. But see where they're hungry. Then they tell us they're hungry. You know, being voice about yourself. They're hungry. We voice about ourselves. Nobody tell us, say, more come protest or more come talk. No, nobody tell us. No be evil. No be evil. Now hunger, now he push us. Hunger. Now hunger, now he push us. Where did they stop? I'm not before now. What time for them now? Where did they stop? One five. Where did it happen? When did it happen? And I don't want to do it. And that Tinubu, that Tinubu, daughter, mama, that's where I told that day, I beg. Come to say you don't talk again. May I apologize, say you don't talk, I say you don't mean that. I just gonna beg you. Get out there. I think people won't die for you. Which is up? People, they also are portable. They burn you well. Come on, like what they thought, say you are lazy again. Come talk to me again. You were dead skit. In that time, whenever I came on, you said they do like this. You they, they, they share your body, they share, say, you are to also to get money. And so as you come outside, come protest. Now you don't get money, because they do like, like Mumu. If Nigeria don't promote you, you say you go do, you go eat that way today. Where did they worry you? Where did they worry you? If Nigeria come out for your matana, I swear to my God, you go fall. But I wish you the best, you know, go fall. You know, go fall. I don't wish you bad luck. But no way to go to talk. Nobody beg you money. I don't beg you money. I don't do my work here. We are collect my money. Any, any, you be. I don't they beg anybody money. And nobody they beg you money. Where they worry you? Go wise up. Go wise up. Oh. No, they talk about Nigeria youth. Any, again. They hear. They don't share them. Mr. Tinubu, do well. Mr. Tinubu, do well. Do well. Go be here, you can Go be here, you know. no fear as foreign rice will be scarce commodity just will everywhere all of a sudden. Foreign rice will no see buy. Where people no see buy back home, just want to water, just want to cool and not where they share. Anyhow, foreign rice just full everywhere. Does it mean that these people have a food bank waiting for when there will be chaos to bring them out, to buy over the masses? Because I don't see this one as pacifying the masses. The level of tactics here, eh? 
President Tinubu is a tactical politician, but I wish he can use these tactics to work. Just invest half of that tactics to work for Nigerians, actually. Because I don't understand. The masses are crying at the cost of living, at high inflation and all manner of things they're experiencing, and hardship. You're busy trying to buy them over. You're not solving their problem. You're using different bodies. I saw a body that said, Content Creators and uh, Stick Makers Association with banner saying that they're saying no to protests. I just don't get it. It's so funny. Now, we Nigerians, they do ourselves well. These people know what to do to silence us, to make us just forget our sorrows. Because I see no reason why a typical Nigerian who says there's hardship will be bought over with just a bag of rice. Now, I'm not in support of violent protest. As you're going out there, I know one thing for sure. They will, in, 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 you know, bring in hoodlums into pro this protest and make it look like Nigerian citizens who are doing their peaceful protest are starting to vandalize things. So as they go there, know when to discharge, know when to remove yourself from every situation. I am not going to ask a typical Nigerian not to protest. It's your right to protest, but go for a peaceful one. And if, if you see anything turning violent, just know when to remove yourself. Remember NSAS. Till now, it has not ended. Till now, those who died have not even gotten justice. I ask again, the resources that I've seen so far, billions of Naira being channeled into buying people over to stop this protest. I wish they can channel just half of their resources to work for Nigerian citizens. I don't think we'll be here. A good government is a government that the masses sing their praise and not a few selected people singing their praises. I see all manner of parastatas, all manner of bodies saying that they're saying no to protest. Even women, hungry. In fact, if you even look who they tell you, say, we're saying no to protest. Say, Hunger won't finish. Even now you go come the pity. I even saw so many videos online where they've not been paid their 55 k that they were promised. Tell me, tell me what 5,000 is, but do I blame them? No. Now hunger. Now hunger, my people. Hunger will make you go forget your papa name. When I see people like that, I don't blame them. It's because our people know how to manipulate us. In this our poverty. And that's why they will never do anything to pull us out of it. Instead, they will use selected few to know people to enter, to stop. I ask again, the resources that have been channeled into stopping, into buying people over, if only half of it can be used to work for the Nigeria, Nigerians, I don't think there will be any need for protest. The amount of money we've borrowed. I love money. I love to make money, but the truth is that you can't cover the truth. There's some truth you see, you need to say it as it is. Dear President Tinubu and his team, you're tactical in politics, but please try to invest half of that tactics in working for the Nigerian masses. It will make a lot of difference. Not, I make a day patient, make a day patient. Tell us what you've achieved so far and where we are headed. Patience is nobody's name. That's not my name. That's not the name of some people. Dear Nigerian youths, Go out there if you want to protest. I'm not against it, but all I'm just saying is be very careful. Be very careful. Because I suspect, just the way they did the NSAS, they will use some people, hoodlums, to infiltrate this um, protest and call it another name. Yesterday, I found out that the governments are deliberately putting us inside this hardship. So government say they don't want protest, but they sponsored a protest against the protest, an anti-protest protest where they had people on the streets. So those people where they streets now they cannot loot, have you? According to Wiki, say don't join these arm robbers to go and protest. So those people where can't do anti-protest protests are not arm robbers, but the people where won't come cry say, hey, price of gari they go up, price of beans they go up, price of fries they go up, fair price they go up. Those ones that then get addressed as criminals. See this government, the one where I come bust my head. I live over other states. See, they go do different, they carry different states, put them. But those women wear old Borono states. I just remember wear old Borono states. I just they look there, they shake my head. Meanwhile, day before yesterday, this is the news. Boko Haram in Borono states, they go bomb police station, buy people, buy officers. They will use the northerners. To push all these your agendas. And after that, this some of these northern states, I don't know who they influence now. They will use you people when it is time for election. They will use you people to do counter narratives. Then after that, they will now leave you people in abject poverty. The most insecure states in this country are the northern states. 
Do you understand? When they won't kidnap, now them they will kidnap. When they won't bomb, now them they will bomb. They when they won't do election, now see them they will carry. When they won't counter narrative, now see them they will carry. Just crazy. That's number one. Number two, when I can carry bag of rice, go 40,000 naira. So you people could carry bag of rice to 40,000 naira. And you people did not do it right from time. Until people don't, the ginger say they will protest. And now you people are now getting coordinates. Because let me tell you people the truth. Police have coordinates. They don't get intel, serious intel. They don't intercept calls. They don't see, say the protest go bad. They don't see, say things go born. Do you understand? Now they are forced to do a lot of things. Do you understand? I'm not talking about police. Police, they do their work. I'm talking about the government. So now, with all these intels, they know there is a problem that will come with the protest. Now, you don't carry bag of rice. Say you won't carry and go 40,000 naira. So you could carry bag of rice to 40,000 naira since. Now you live on for 95 naira. What would they cry? Do you understand? Can you just imagine this government? So you carry this thing, go, it did 90 something naira. And you feel carry and go 40,000 naira. And you didn't do it. And you didn't do it. Whoa! Again, I see, say, Dangote, they don't agree now, say, they won't give Dangote crude oil. Make it a seller. They're going to sell on to them in Naira. Do you know what it, what it means if they'll sell it to Dangote in Naira? It only means that dollar will crash. Dollar will crash. So people want to import now, go easily for the import. So you people had this option since, and you did not do it? Eh? So you had this option since and you did not do it. This is crazy. Meaning you people knew what to do since and you never did it. It is crazy. Again, that thing that happened with MTN yesterday showed me how showed me how bad most of us are. See, say yesterday, they nearly fall into an office. They, they shake their back. They won't throw it. They won't scatter into it. You know why the people were in uniform? Because this one affects their personal life. Mm -hmm. Nigerians, most of you are selfish. Because they affect their personal life. See the way they gather for empty an office yesterday. They gather. They stand for empty an office. Then they wonder. <sighs> the same way they take do business. You know, they work. When I must give me my SIM card. When I must make my SIM card work. That is the problem with us Nigerians. You believe that if it does not affect you directly, it's not a problem yet. Until yesterday, where MTN test their power. The one that got them to MTN yesterday for burn them down. They were lucky. Do you understand? And then they get into saying a senior man from above tell them say, hey, I beg go, MTN. I beg, I beg, I beg. No put us a problem. We they try to calm protest down when I go the lock SIM card. Mm -hmm. When I won't give these people more reason to cause problem, I beg go, I beg, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, open them, open them, open them. If they get me, no, they don't get me, no, oh yeah, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, open them. So Nigerians can do it in uniform, but they will not do it until it touch them directly, and it's a problem. It's a problem. Now, let me not tell you people something, right? You people just don't know it yet. You people are underestimating Ashwaju Bola Metinubu and it's a problem. That man is a smart man. I know what I'm telling you. Now this underestimate whether they underestimate and put for this problem. That guy now be the politician. Remember they say politics is a dirty game. The guy must have played the dirty game well. They talk about protesters or from nowhere. Different influencers start to they say, eh, this is not the right time to do protest. Guy man, don't do your work. Next thing, they say they won't do a road festival for Lagos. Next thing, we can say one oh, oh, some people for Abuja, some chiefs. Next thing, different, different states start to they do different, different activities. Tinubu is smart. But you all don't know it. And so somebody that's as smart and as cunning as Tinubu, you need your sense to do things. You need to calculate before you jump and make noise. That's why the youth need to have one voice. Please start with fair price. You know why? Because you see this price of rice, they carry go 40,000 so now, now lie. They go still increase them. Now big lie. This don't go tell you where they give them. It's still no guarantee nothing. It guarantees nothing. Tomorrow, they go still decide. 
So if they don't put a standard for a prime, no one still protest. Uh, yes. Protest too. The only thing I will tell you is do not loot. Do not burn anything. We do a responsible protest. Let me say we go stand, we go call out, we go dodge you white car for streets. Do you understand? Then they go no say Kai on that day. Do not be party to any looting, burning of property, stealing, fighting, going to upset police, deliberately triggering them by going to their front and trying to instigate things. No. Other than that, we are good. We match. Other than they talk, go do counter with the bullshit. That's your business. We match. August 1st, we march. I guess Abuja on a good square. We march. They go and learn. And they will learn the hard way. Don't play. Alright, so I'll try not to be disrespectful to Sheilo because I like Sheilo, right? Say thank you to His Excellency Lucky Orimosa and Aida Tiwa on his appointment as SSA Entertainment and Tourism on those states. Now, this is a problem. This is a very big problem. I see a lot of youths that the government wants to put into politics. They bring them in and they give them SSAs. What is SSC? SSC is the most stupid position the government gives to the youths. And for some reason, these youths and these younger people always feel like the government have given them a position. Senior special advisor, who are you advising? Have you ever sat down before with your governor to talk to him and he listens to you? They should bring out all the SSAs in this country. Let them point out a project that they were the one that advised the governor to carry out. Do you understand? They give you people this post and they make you feel as if they want you to be part of the government. If government wants you to be part of them, they'll give the youth a post that the youth will know that, okay, yes, we are actually the one commanding some things. Like, let's say they say, local government chairman must be from the age of 20, 25 to 30. From 25 to 30, that's only local government chairman. You can, if you exceed 30, you cannot be local government chairman. That's what we know that the youth can be part of the politics. And that's how you know that the younger people are ready to move this country forward. Any sporting, they carry SSA, give your love. Carry SSA, give the Kechi, in Kechi blessing, get friend. Carry SSA, no, they don't give Shei love. Carry SSA, give any other bad ones. Carry SSA, give this one. Carry SSA, give that one. Carry SSA, and on a good jubilee, and feel as if you don't get close to these people. And what is funny is that this same youth, See, I'm not even going to blame all these other people because the youth self now, they are the reflection of the government at the end of the day, right? Do you understand? Most of these youths, when you see, say, they say, government are wicked, government are suffering us, and this one, government, if you give them opportunity, they'll go and do the same thing. You know? I need to remind you, more no, you only this through government, even us as the youths, if you carry this opportunity now, give this, this position where this government, if you carry a youth today, give them. They will do worse than what this government are doing. A lot of young people want to be in power because they want to steal more than the government in power. They want to oppress more than the government in power. And they watch video which they want SSA where do one long convoy. They go ready. I've been an introduction. So youth, when government give you people this position, entertainers especially, don't feel like they want you to be part of the government. They are caricaturing you people. This is caricaturing. I am an SSA to the governor. I am an SSA. You are not an SSA bullshit. You are a ping pong. You are an instrument to control the public for them. Do you understand? You are just an, you are just a tool to control the public for them when there is a problem. You are that person that they will tell. Okay, you are a celebrity. Come out. Okay, you are a celebrity. Come out. Because the people know you. They see you in movies. They see you in music. They see you as an influencer. And you are now part of us. You are the SSC. So you need to defend the rubbish we are doing. Do you understand? So it smells like... It's mostly... It's, 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 it's a thing of... They are caricaturing you at the end of the day. SSC is the most... Listen to me. It's the most stupid post in the government system. SSA, SSA, all those nonsense things. 
you can give now. I'm going to shine teeth. You and the SSC. I see all those guests, all those Nollywood women. I see all those, all those Nollywood men. Especially all those Yoruba actresses. Especially them. I am the SSC. You are the, you are a mumu. You are a mumu. That's what you are. You just don't know it yet. If government want us to be part of the the government. They should make it mandatory that it's only the youths that will be local government chairman. So that will be in charge of our own local governments. Like let's say now you say, okay, very dark man, come. Come and be the local government chairman of Etsako East. Down Poro Banan. And you send me the money. Say BDN, take. Let's see what you can do. Now by that time we will come know which youths women Nigeria grow. But until then, all this SSA for soon for my screen again. I can't see now for real life. I keep pouring on saliva for face. When I know they carry all these kind of things in near my page. I don't want to see them for my page. SSC, SSC. Rubbish. You're gonna learn. I will learn the hard way. Don't play. Thank you. I go by the name Black Mamba. Don't forget, I thank God for my subscribers, my phone, and my sub. If you like, if you comment, if you subscribe, I'll keep thanking God for you. I love you all.